if you could just first, I mean, as his father, tell me a little bit about your son. He's got a big heart. He's loving. You know, he's inquisitive. He can be stubborn at times. He loves to play video games. He loves animals. I mean, he thoroughly loves animals. He likes plants. He likes to, you know, grow things. He likes to take care of things. He loves his video games. Boy, the kid loves his video games. What what has the last week been like for you as a father? My heart is missing somehow, somewhere out here, and I'm just trying to find him. Yeah, I don't know where he's at, but I, 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 I can't find him. And when was the last time you got to see Sebastian? Last time he was at my house. So I was supposed to have him last weekend. And it would have been two weekends prior. He would have, he was at my house and I got to see him. We got to play video games. Watch T V. Had a great weekend. And I mean, obviously it seems like what has it been like working with law enforcement? Have they been great, you know, trying to help you with this search? They're definitely doing everything that they can to find my son. And I thoroughly appreciate it. And I hope, I hope that they find him every day. I'm waking up hoping that they find him. And obviously, so he's autistic. Are there any like tendencies that he may have? Like, does he like hanging out like in the trees or by water that could maybe help people find him? He does like creeks. I mean, he loves to go fishing with me. But if he's in the city limits, he's, you know, video games. He'd probably be, you know, maybe an arcade or something. Okay. And has he ever done something like this before? Just leave the house for a short period of time or anything like that? No. And, I mean, how much sleep have you lost over this last week? Walk me through kind of what that experience has been. Sleep at all. Okay. Coffee and energy drinks is where my main diet is been. Yeah. And um, I know you said you were out there searching. Are there any particular places that you're looking that you think he might be at? I'm looking everywhere. I'm not from this area, so uh, I don't know it. So I'm just. Uh, everywhere I, you know i keep telling people keep your head up and your eyes open if you see him call 911 you know if, if my son hears my voice buddy you need to get a, to a phone and call 911 you know definitely and you you live in clarksville right yes ma'am okay but you've been out here in the hendersonville area just searching for him the last week Every day. And um, I guess, are you in close contact with his mother and uh, stepfather about the situation? Not really. I mean, we're in communication at least once a day, but that's about it. Um, Just I'm looking for him, you know. Yeah. And I know, like, obviously with social media, it's tough because as a parent, you just want your kid home. But there's been a lot of, like, speculation, too, about possible, like, criminal investigations. I mean, what's kind of your reaction to all of that chatter on social media? I don't have social media, man. Okay. But just hearing people kind of speculate about that in the community, I guess, how does that make you feel? I think they need to, you know, instead of being keyboard warriors, they need to put feet on the ground and start looking for my son. If they really want to help, that's what they should be doing instead of coming up with their own opinion. How about I get out there and we look and we find my son? And how much does your son Sebastian mean to you? He is my life. Do you have any other kids? No. 
old man. Okay. Um, and I guess, is there, I guess anything you want to say, I don't know how well you know the stepfather or the mother, but is there anything you'd like to say about that and that situation and how he just kind of disappeared from the house? I have nothing to say about that. Okay. And if you could say something to Sebastian right now, what would you say? If you are here in the sun, you need to tell people who you are and tell them to call 911 for you. You need to tell people that you are Sebastian Rogers and that you need them to call 911. And anything you'd like to tell him about returning home? I miss you, buddy. And I'm waiting. I want to hear from you. How can you? All right. Call 911 so we can find you, man. Come on, sons. <laughs> 